we, buckle we, up, everyone. No, <laughs> it, well, maybe. We could sit here right now and we could debate fighting in the NHL. Like, what's the place of fighting? We could debate Michigan goals. Yeah. Do you like them? Do you hate them? But the fact of the matter is people come to games and watch on TV in the hopes of seeing a Michigan goal, in the hopes of seeing a fight. They like it. Now, what people don't want to watch and see is kneeing, uh, hitting a guy's head into the boards, uh, ramming a guy from behind, and that is a common theme for a player in this league, and I've never done this before, but I have to do it because this is a trend with this player, and he's done this a, numer uh, uh, um, a numerous amount of times, ramming a guy's head into the boards. You know, the, the hit earlier on the year under Gabranson, this was Shifley last year. Like, there's no place in the game for this, and what's the common theme in all these? Him at the bottom of the pile in a turtle position. Not like... <laughs> Down to one. Cousins, oh, there's a penalty. They'll say Cousins got Goodbranson from behind. Goodbranson goes after him. And then Bennett jumps right in. Now we'll have some calls now. Penalty free game. Now the officials have gotten together. There's a big... Con con I mean, I love Erica Branson as a player, but you've got to protect yourself a little bit more than that. Describe, obviously, with the... See, that's not a hit from behind. That's a hit from mostly at the side. It's just unfortunate that Branson was not prepared for it for whatever reason, and he went very hard into the end ball. Bennett trails, but it's on to Cousins on the left wing. Gabranson and look at Branson just throws him down. Oh, he hits him, hits him again. He had that in his mind the entire way. As soon as he's got close to Cousins, he went after him. Cousins just turtled. Shift that Cabranson got out there against Cousins. He knew where he was. He lined him up, and the gloves were coming off it before he made the hit. A couple shots to Cousins in the back of the head. So Cabranson, he's gone. He's got two for five, two, five, and ten. Forsling goes glass. Picked up by Barkov. Oh, and Cousins is won by Zucker. Now, let's see what the... Well, he's got to be out of the game for sure, man. That's, Look, there's... it's premeditated. Yeah. That's that. That's the, the biggest thing for me. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's the that's the best replay of it. Cousins got up pretty quickly. The original hit right here, there is no call right there. And then in comes Zucker and just well, being pushed from behind. He continues to work against two Leafs. Los Torino trying to dig it out of there. Cousins and Matthews going at it. Cousins goes down. We're going to get a couple of calls and then Bunting jumps Cousins. And then Mark Stoll comes flying in. He gets shot, then he gets knocked down. Then Cousins and, and Matthews. Matthews dumps Cousins, and in comes Bunting, and now the gloves are off, and everybody's joining the fray. Except that it is going to be one of those grinding games so far. And now we got a little going on. Yeah, Morrissey got hit out at center. He went down, and they go after Nick Cousins. Nate Schmidt tackled Cousins. And now Mikola wants to get it. Shifley, so does Montour. The play developed. Shifley moves the puck. Cousins with a hit in the neutral zone, an open ice hit, and then they go right after Cousins. Schmidt's there, and now it's time to play dogpile. Right. Chuck had 11 points in that seven game first round as well against the Boston Bruins as Cousins delivered the check on McAvoy. He is down, hasn't gotten up yet. Cousins in front, turns and shoots and a save from Olmark. And now a few Bruins come in the direction of Cousins. Now a right D and a left winger with some speed. And McAvoy says, let's just do it. Let's just settle this right now. Let's go. Had him already. Ekman Larson's on the ice as well. Jake DeBrus has got him. Being the defenseman against an aggressive forechecking team, and this one here, the, the the way that he held his mouth when he went down, I thought, oh boy, maybe there's a wicked elbow up there. But looking at that follow through, no, I I didn't. Maybe maybe rubbing against the glass, or maybe on the way down. But Cousins has plenty of speed right there. I mean, he's going in Mach 10 to get a piece of him.